Savannah began getting a reputation as a very haunted place. These days we'd call ourselves the most haunted city in America. And while other cities around the country claim that they're the most haunted, we aren't some proof. Starting in the late 1960s, various paranormal research groups have been coming here, conducting investigations in the historic district, and since the late 1960s, pretty much not a single month has gone by without at least one group being in the city conducting an investigation. And approximately four and a half years ago, maybe five now, some analysts got together and started collating all the data that have been collected from more than 40 years of investigations. The conclusion they reached is that 80 to 85 percent of all the buildings in the historic district have some kind of supernatural activity associated with them. That's 80 to 85 percent of all of our buildings are haunted, so we really are the most haunted city in America. We have thousands of ghost stories here. Literally thousands. Far too many, obviously, for me to try and tell all of them, because if I did try, let's just say we'd all need real hearses by the time I was done. Now, speaking of real hearses, this used to be one. This is a 1987 Cadillac Fleetwood, so y'all are riding in style tonight, because it's a caddy. It was owned by the J. Million Smith Funeral Home between the years of 1987 and 2009. And in that 22 years, this particular vehicle moved approximately 9,700 corpses. So y'all are riding atop where a lot of dead bodies have been down through the years. And just to hopefully make things a little creepier, the two of you sitting all the way in back, you're sitting where the heads used to go. <laughs> uh, this place on our right, the Spanish Shrimp Factory, back in the days when cotton was king of Savannah's economy, 